Hello friends, in this video tutorial, I will discuss about the voltage measurement using multimeter. We can measure DC voltages and AC voltages with the help of digital multimeter. Actually, we use a lot of things in our home applications that have some DC voltages, batteries like uh, wall clock, wristwatch, mobile, etc. So we can uh, measure the voltages of these batteries with the use of this multimeter. So we can uh, apply the multimeter application in our home application. We can make the most of this multimeter. So in this video, I will explain how you can measure these uh, voltages. I am using two different multimeters. With the help of that, we can measure these voltages. Let's start with the DC voltage measurement. For the voltage measurement, actually, this is the basic connection because we measure the voltage in the parallel. This is the battery and this is the load. So if you want to measure the voltage then you have to connect these leads in the parallel with the battery or load you can say. So these are the connection. In this manner we have to connect for the voltage measurement. So I am using here two different models for your uh, simplicity. This is the basically used version that is used by the most of the persons and this is the version for the professional persons but it is a uh, little bit simple so I prefer this one. So first of all uh, I would like to measure the voltage of this wall clock or uh, remote cell TV remote you can measure the voltage because this is a DC so we have to select this to the DC and it is a 1.5 volt so I have to select it at the 2 volt range then I will connect these probes like this so you can check 1.418 this is the voltage if I change the polarities then definitely the voltage become minus 1.416 so by mistake if you connect these uh, leads uh, in the wrong manner then no problem only the sign will be changed so if I measure this by using this meter then you can see I select the voltage and upside this is the DC and connect the probe 1.413 here you can see uh, I am not uh, select any range that is selected automatically so this is the benefit of this multimeter you can see if I want to measure now the voltage of a wristwatch cell so I can measure so you can check it. It is 1.397 volt. If I measure this by using this one, then you can measure 1.39. We change the polarity definitely. The sign will be changed. Minus one point. So this is basically for the positive. So here, because positive and negative are not marked, you can identify with the help of this probe because this is used for the positive. So which one is the positive? So basically, the outer side is the positive, and this point is negative. So with the help of this, you can also find out the polarity of the terminals with the help of multimeter. After that we can measure the voltage of a mobile battery. This is a mobile battery, Nokia mobile. The 3.7 volt rating it's so we can measure this. Because 3.7 something, so we have to increase this range from 2 volt to 20 volt range. It's come 3.67. And if I connect here, the 3.85. Because here are cells, so the voltage is increasing. The connector and see this, so voltage is increasing. In the simple way you can measure this by using this one. Here the beauty is that uh, there is no need of uh, range arrangement, there is no need of range adjustment. You can see it's automatic 3.82, 3.84. Little bit difference. Okay, so this is the measurement for the mobile battery and after that if I any battery like this 9 volt battery I can measure voltage of this battery also. So this is the positive 
this is negative you can check 8.7677 volt approx and if you use measurement by this 8.76 basically by using this multimeter there is no need of uh, uh, setting the range here you have to change the range if the bolt is outside the range particular so this is the main advantage of this meter after that we can measure the output of any mobile charger if I have any mobile charger and uh, these ratings are suppose these are deleted then how I can find out the output of this mobile charger that can you find out with the help of this multimeter so you can use this mobile charger for your home applications which requires 9 volt or 10 volt you can see it's 9.21 volt in this way you can check output by using this meter procedure is same 9.21 okay so this was the DC measurement I was measuring DC you can also measure the AC so this is the AC point now to measure the AC what I have to do I have to change this DC to AC if I change it at 200 volt it is not giving anything because uh, in India the voltage is 220 30 volt and the frequency 50 Hertz so it is out of this because 200 so I have to increase 200 to 600 now the output is you can see yes it is not fixed yet, it gets changed 239, 237. If I measure this by using this one, you can see actually what the problem presently I have selected at DC, so I have to change it to AC. This is also important, you have to choose the correct type of the voltage that is the AC what is the problem yes it's 233 volt okay I think this port is not working properly you can check here yes 236 to 235 actually it is in 220 to 230 range A little bit increased but it's not fixed actually the supply is variable so that's why it is a little bit higher than 230 volt so I think you can measure the AC voltages and DC voltages with the help of this multimeters I think after watching this video you can measure these voltages very easily if you like this video please share this video and comment that will be helpful for me thank you for watching